Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all my contact information, including my email and social media links, along with links to my new music in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Cappy at the foundation, please? Queen of Cups in reverse at the foundation. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is a very smothering energy. A very insecure person. This person could be an alcoholic as well. Okay, what do we got here? King of Pentacles at the Sacral. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That's your energy there. This is somebody here who has a real issue queen of swords look at that queen king queen you've made some sort of big advancement in your life and you've had to create some sort of a boundary with this individual because they were blocking you from blessings and now this person is victimizing themselves based off of this up leveling that you've stepped into they could be drinking a lot I'm picking up like a heavy scorpionic energy here for this Queen of Cups in reverse and Cancer. Six of Wands, Victory, Hierophant, Taurus Energy, God. This is you stepping into your power. And you're getting huge success from this. This is all divinely guided. This is all a part of your path, right? You've overcome this karmic cycle. Five of Swords, Aquarius energy, which was with this person. It could have been multiple people, but it's at least one individual here. This person was keeping you held back. And now it's like you've stepped into your power. You've let, had to leave this person behind. Create some sort of boundaries with them to do this. Queen of Swords, Solar Plexus. So your Solar Plexus is all related to how you show up in the world. And I feel like this person was affecting that. They were affecting your confidence. Aries and Scorpio energy. So transformation, Scorpio energy, how you transform and allow yourself to step into your power. And Aries energy, which is the I am of the Zodiac. It's basically the Zodiac sign that kicks the door open for the rest of, the rest of us, right? So they were affecting all of this for you. You felt really stuck when you were with this individual. You've stepped into your power and it's like as soon as you took this step to have faith with the divine and really just turn all this energy back on yourself. Boom, King of Pentacles at the sacral. And I feel like you're actually manifesting this with your creativity. This is what's bringing this King of Pentacles energy in, right? It's like you're creating this very solid foundation based off of your gifts, based off of your purpose. The divine illuminated to you what was going on in your environment. Five of Swords at the third eye. This is how you were seeing your outward environment. You realized that the people around you were really just keeping you in these toxic relationships. They had this like... These people were just spiritually bankrupt is what it came down to. And it's like they were trying to steal your faith away from you. Five of Swords at the third eye. Trying to steal your faith away away from you. What do we have at the crown? Boom, tower, Aries energy right there at the crown. So with this hierophant at the throat, I feel like God spoke through you. Cappy, I nearly said Libra again. I feel like uh, probably because this is your justice, right? Libra's all... Libra's all related to justice, the justice card. It's all about this truth coming to light. So I feel like God spoke through you. And you manifested into existence what you spoke. You stood up for yourself. You created these boundaries. God and the divine, your spirit guides, helped you bring through this tower at the crown. Aries energy. This is all related to your intuition. So you got these messages on how to move forward. And in order to do this, to step into this power, you literally had to shatter your foundation. What could have been perceived as your stability, but it had a connection to this individual here. So it was built on a faulty foundation anyway. This could be a sibling. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a... Uh, it could even be a business. It could really be anything. This is just a general 
message here. Aries energy with this tower. You took this very inspired action. You created this upheaval in your life. So you can rebuild upon something solid. King of Pentacles at the sacral, which is all based off of your creativity. Let me just reiterate that again. All built off of your creativity, your gifts, your purpose in this world. This is how you build a solid foundation. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Ace of Pentacles at the foundation. So this is like Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person is just a very greedy person, right? Everything they do is based in greed, and they like to keep people stuck in some sort of spiritual debt. They like people spiritually bankrupt, lacking faith, because it gives them a place to control people from, right? I feel like this person projected their lack of faith onto you, which tells me that it could have been an authoritative figure in your life, like a parent. It's like they tried to tell you which way to go. Gives all worldly power and treasures. Makes one rich quickly. Huh. All right. What do we have at the sacral? Page of Swords, Bootus. So with this Page of Swords energy, this is somebody who is always shrouded in some sort of drama. Everything they do is to try and take control over other people's destiny, otherwise known as keeping people out of their path, out of their purpose. It's some sort of demonic entity attachment that they have to them. It's like they're doing the bidding of the devil by keeping people out of their purpose and not... Not allowing them to step into this power position, raise their vibration, and then add collectively to the collective vibration, right? Which is all of our duty in this lifetime, is to add to that collective vibration by stepping into our own individual power. This is really what it comes down to, you guys. Because when you step into your power, everything in your life improves. Everything. Your health, your mental health, your finances, your happiness... This is what it's all about. This is how the universe evolves. The universe doesn't evolve by being stuck. That's called de-evolution, right? I mean, what does the devil want to do? He wants to destroy God. So he sends out his agents in a micro version, right? The macro version would be the devil destroying God. In the micro version, it's demons spreading out amongst the planet keeping individual people stuck, trying to destroy them. So essentially, we're all our own gods of our life. We're each an individual god of our own life. We manifest the existence that we want to have by co-creating with the divine. This is evolution. What do we have at the solar plexus for Cappy? Ace of Wands at the Solar Plexus. This is all about these delays, this brutality. This is what you've stood up to. Queen of Swords at the Solar Plexus. This energy was keeping you stuck. I feel like they were using, projecting some sort of self-doubt onto you. Telling you that the expectations you had for yourself were completely unrealistic. There's no way you could ever achieve any of this. That you're insignificant in the world and that God doesn't exist. Take it as it fits. It's somebody who wants control over everything and everybody around them. Because they feel small in the universe. This energy here most definitely believes in God, but it's like they're angry with God. So they try to convince other people that God doesn't exist. Okay, what do we have from the Heaven and Hell Tarot at the heart, please? Seven of 
So we have Beer, which is Ace of Cups, Neglecting Duties from the Occult Tarot. And then we have Aladia from the Angel Tarot, Divine Grace, which is uh, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so we'll start here with Beer, Ace of Cups energy. So this is like Ace of Cups in reverse. This is the energy they projected onto you. It's an energy of depression. It's an energy of being let down, right? It's just an energy of overall disappointment. And see how it says neglecting duties? This was you neglecting stepping into your purpose. Your divine duty is to step into your purpose. And it's so interesting how it's right below that Six of Wands. This is you stepped into your purpose now in your divine duty. And this is what they tried to keep from you. And now moving forward, Six of Pentacles, divine grace. This is the energy that you're moving forward in, right? This is an energy of giving and receiving. It's an energy of generosity, but this is what you're doing with the divine. You're co-creating with the divine. You're giving and receiving with the divine. Right, which allows you to step into this King of Pentacles energy, which is at your sacral, harnessing your gifts to bring in abundance for yourself, generational wealth. Okay, what do we have from the Angel Tarot at the throat, please? What do we have from the Angel Tarot at the throat, please? Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so with this Ace of Pentacles energy, this is this energy that you've stepped into now. It's all about this new money, right? You're investing in yourself. It's like you step away from this individual and your finances just completely shift. You take rulership and ownership over your life. You step into this power position. You're a very powerful person as well. That's why this energy went to such extremes to keep you stuck. People who have a huge purpose have the biggest karmic cycles to break because the devil's working overtime to keep you stuck. Don't forget that. Ace of Pentacles. Divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production. That's you, right? Look, I feel like they're peering into your life now. I can't believe Cappy stepped into their purpose. I wonder what they're working on. Uh, they sure are manifesting a lot of pentacles in their life. I'm so sad I couldn't keep them stuck. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble with the devil. A lot of trouble. Right? Okay, what do we have at the third eye? the world at the third eye okay so this is completion of this cycle right it's this lesson that you've learned moving forward and the thing is guys these karmic cycles we can actually repurpose those right to use we use them as examples to help other people it's wisdom gained and when we do this and these demons see us doing this these lower demonic entities the devil and and his minions this is their worst nightmare. They're like, no, right? Because it's like we're now actually transmuting that negativity into something positive and giving back to the collective. It's almost like your uh, enemies, these demons in your life, no matter what they did to keep you stuck, you just turn around once you step into your power and you, you just send them healing energy and blessings, right? This is a real powerful position to step into. Very powerful. It completely disarms them. Okay, what do we have at the crown? What do we have at the crown, please? Four of Wands at the crown okay so this is the celebration you're in with your spirit guides it's just an overall energy that you've now stepped into the thing is guys when you step into your purpose every day is a celebration every day feels joyous every day is enjoyable it's just a vibration you step into the vibration of celebration 
This is what you guys are encompassing. The vibration of celebration. Because you're in your purpose. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you very much for your donations, Cappy. Take care.